plants are poisoning our environment. And that is what I learned this summer. I knew that smoking is bad for your health, but I didn't know just how toxic and damaging cigarette butts are to the world we live in. Each year, 135 million pounds of cigarette butts are discarded in the U.S. alone. That's almost half a pound per person. We've become so used to cigarette butts, we don't even notice them anymore. These butts are being tossed from cars, flicked into streets, and dropped almost everywhere. Year after year, cigarette butts are the number one item picked up during beach and roadway cleanups. The California Department of Transportation spends more than $40 million every year cleaning up litter, and cigarette butts make up one-third of the total waste collected. And that means taxpayers are spending millions of dollars each year to clean up this mess. When cigarette butts get left on the road, they get washed into storm drains. They flow through them and end up in our lakes, rivers, and oceans, and are washed up on our beaches. Along the way, they can be mistaken for food by fish or other animals. So, there are a lot of butts that pollute our environment, and that's bad for a lot of reasons. First of all, Cigarette filters are not biodegradable. Most people think that cigarette filters are made of cotton, but they're not. I learned that from my friend Evan here from the California Coastal Commission. Cigarette filters are actually made of a plastic material called cellulose acetate. Like all plastics, it's resistant to biodegradation and can persist in the environment for generations. And actually, it gets worse. Not only are cigarette filters not biodegradable, but by design, they capture some really nasty toxic chemicals. Dr. Tom Novotny from San Diego State University told me was actually in these yucky butts. Studies have shown that butts release the same toxic and cancer-causing chemicals found in cigarettes, such as nicotine, ethyl phenol, and arsenic. In our tests, we were shocked to discover that only one cigarette butt soaked in a liter of water for 48 hours produced enough toxic chemicals to kill most of the fish in that water. So these little butts have the ability to severely damage our aquatic ecosystems. And that's not cool. Not only does our aquatic life suffer, but small children could mistakenly eat cigarette butts which are full of these poisonous chemicals. So. You have millions and millions of these little, toxic, chemical-filled capsules lying around everywhere that don't biodegrade. And they're leaching poisons into our environment. Oh, and let's not forget, each year there are forest fires caused by discarded cigarettes, which destroy wildlife, our beautiful trees, and people's homes. So what did I learn this summer? Although I knew cigarettes were bad for us, what I learned is that they're damaging to the environment as well. Each year, hundreds and millions of butts end up all around us and we don't even notice. There are so many cigarette butts that I found them nearly everywhere. I learned that cigarette filters are made from plastic and don't biodegrade. They're full of poisonous, toxic chemicals and they're damaging the world we live in. We need to fight for the health of our environment. If grown-ups were only aware of this damage, I bet they think differently about cigarettes and smoking. Summer vacation can't last forever, but damage to our environment does. If you care about the world we live in, please join me in the fight against tobacco. Thank you. <laughs> to learn more about the negative impact of tobacco on the environment, visit tobaccofreeca.com.